World Transits today. I'm Art Granoff. It's March 7th, 2023. And today on World Transits, it's the moon menu. It's Venus square Pluto. Mercury conjunct Neptune. And Mercury sextile Uranus. Let's start today with moon menu. Carefully selecting days for special events. Today on Moon Menu, we feature the sun and the moon, the full moon, right there with the moon and Uranus. The full moon being the most spectacular thing two eyes can see. How about you? What do you think? So today and tomorrow, it's the full moon with Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. A great day for journeys. Midweek, moon with Saturn and Pluto. Intense emotions, intense feeling. If you're new, maybe skip these days. And then later in the week, the moon with Uranus, Neptune and Saturn. The moon, our inner person, our inner reality with the outer planets, opening our inner private person to the cosmos. March 8th. Venus, square Pluto, transformation of the heart. Venus, passion is opening, represented as our human heart, full of tenderness, warmth, and harmony. With Venus activated in life, everything's better with less pointy edges. Venus, the interest of delight, the watch for personal obstacles along the way like revisiting the old tapes of crying, heartache, and despair. With lovely Venus, our heart revealed as a double-edged sword. One side we like, the other we don't. Pluto's ultimate power, when you take it for yourself and when you're being conquered. Pluto, a meteor crashing through the psyche, burning through what's just ordinary inflaming with the hottest sauce, bringing compulsion, severity, and fury. When you have to do it, regardless of the consequences, when there's no holding back, there's Pluto, redirecting our experience downtown, beneath the surface, where it's too intense to handle, we may witness transformation through a particular danger. Welcome to the classic universal love story in Greek mythology. Starring Demeter, Persephone, and Hades. The search for shiny objects of desire wherever they're concealed. Someone's getting undressed. Also, Venus Pluto, mining for gold. Neil Young, keep searching for a heart of gold. And mining for minerals, lithium. Diamonds, getting the most value from what's hidden. Innocent Venus, open and beautiful, with virile Pluto, grabs her while she's picking flowers and takes her downtown to his home beneath the surface where he's king and she's becoming queen. Venus attractive, exuding charm, mystery. Pluto attracted with primitive power awakened fixated, penetrating, Venus square Pluto for three weeks. And March 8th through 18th, combining Venus Mars with Venus Pluto for 10 days through mid-month. Venus Mars Pluto. Mars Pluto, ready for the most demanding or toughest work. The shadow is explosive reactions. Venus Pluto, Erotic transformation, intense love, intense actions, impressive erotic potency. Watch for traps of passion, getting too excited or way overdoing it. Also this week, Mercury conjunct Neptune. Mercury represents mental stimulation, acting our thinking process, getting thoughts moving. Mercury as all forms of communication, legacy from animal and human, and now stacking the deck with the new machine Mercury, AI. Mercury as AI's new play or battleground, 
stimulating our mind with nonsense. Let's watch AI as it unfolds. Who benefits and who doesn't? Neptune's experience is flowing, boundless, and ultimately complete. When Neptune's realized we need unconditional love, full release in the numinous. In the birth sequence, in Stan Groff's basic perinatal matrices, Neptune as BPM1, enclosed in a safe house, getting what we need, ideally. Experienced with psychedelics, breathwork, or meditation, Neptune's excellent or optimal what seems right at the time, or very wrong with the mind full of negative thoughts, looping or circling, spinning us out of control. Neptune as imagination can help, or through the power of illusion, we fall off the road into a ditch. Since Mercury's mental and Neptune's ideal, what do we get? Left brain stuff. Aesthetics, like mind, focused on music, either writing, playing, or listening, or poetry, painting. Here's a Mercury-Neptune poem, China Cat Sunflower. Look for a while at the China Cat Sunflower, proud, walking jingle in the midnight sun. Copper dome Bodhi drip a silver kimono, like a crazy quilt star gown through a dream night wind. Crazy cat peeking through a lace bandana, like a one-eyed Cheshire, like a diamond-eyed Jack. A leaf of all colors plays a golden string fiddle to a double E waterfall over my back. Robert Hunter, anecdotally in my chart, I have Mercury opposite Neptune. For years, my work in classical music, recording live concerts. Concentrating Mercury on the transcendent Neptune, as in meditation, where we breathe in, focusing our mind, and breathe out, satisfied, or just getting lost, all in one breath. Keep going. March 10th, Mercury square Mars, peaking on the 16th. Mercury thinks and Mars wills. Mercury organized for Mars action, strategic planning. Wayne Shorter, born in 1933, through March 2nd, 2023, just the other day, was an American jazz saxophonist and composer. Shorter came to prominence in the late 50s as a member of and eventually primary composer for Art Blakey's Jazz Messengers. In the 1960s, he joined Miles Davis's Second Great Quartet and then co-founded the jazz fusion band Weather Report. He's recorded more than 20 albums as a band leader. Many shorter compositions have become jazz standards and his music has earned worldwide recognition, critical praise, and commendation. Miles Davis said, Wayne is a real composer. He writes scores, writes the parts for everyone, just as he wants them to sound. And here's Wayne Shorter's chart with the sun sextile Mars, with the square in the sky. He knows how to work. Sun conjunct Neptune, also in the sky, identifying with imagination, dreams, improvisation. His album, Night Dreamer, Sun Neptune. Sun trying Uranus, sextile in the sky, fresh forward identity, eye on what's next, his illustrious career spanning 70 years. He's got Mercury opposite Saturn with the conjunction in the sky, the master composer, saxophonist, making records, live concerts. His flowering with the Miles Davis Quintet, communicating through a system, music, jazz. He has Uranus square Pluto with the trine in the sky, freedom with intensity. Moon-Mars conjunction on the ascendant 
either riled up or angry emotions leading to a fight, or a moon, gentle, caring, empathy with Mars, strong, willful activity, released or transformed through action, like music. Adding Uranus, moon, Mars, Uranus, open to change, emotionally free, inventive. And again, sun conjunct Neptune, trying Uranus, sun, Uranus, Neptune in the sky, sun square Uranus and sun conjunct Neptune in his chart, his 30 years of Buddhism with Uranus together with Neptune, reaching the outer or inner limits of reality is very accessible. Combining Uranus BPM4 and Neptune BPM1, like in the sky now, easy access to the transcendent as exemplified by Shorter's extensive career. Thank you, Wayne Shorter. And thank you for joining me at World Transits today, everybody. Covering current transits in March 2023. Watch World Transits at my site, Reference Astrology, through the audio version at Apple Podcasts. Contact me directly at Reference Astrology for a birth chart and transit reading, where we explore the planetary archetypes. Place them on your chart, revealing your personal transits to see what's up for you.